Hello and welcome, I am the Trunkleton and today we are going to be looking at Nendoroid number 28 from Lucky Star Kagami Hiragi, I hope I'm saying that right. I have yet to watch Lucky Star. I got this Nendoroid for the accessories. It is a second hand used Nendoroid that I bought in Nagoya last year so the faceplate could not might not be the the first faceplate, it might be one of the ones that are down the bottom. The chair is a bit wonky and it's an exclusive version. I guess it's this guy that's exclusive because it's printed on the box right here. Let's have a look around the box. So we got her other faceplate. Ah, so she should have sitting legs and an extra skirt. And then, okay, so the back tells you the three different versions that they are. So it seems like they get an exclusive face perversion, maybe? By the looks of it. So if you want all the faces, you need to collect all the versions. That's what I pick up from this, maybe I'm wrong. But then I look at the side here, she has this face there. She's meant to have three face plates, so maybe. But this version has ears. I could be wrong, I'd have to we'll check later once I open the box so I paid like four dollars for this it's not not a joke it's like 400 yen maybe slightly more but I think I paid 400 yen for this it's not it's like four dollars I'm not joking <laughs> I got really lucky I actually bought one from my friend because he was looking for one and I paid a lot more than that I think I yeah I can't remember how much I paid for it but he was looking for this specific version uh, but then I found this in another store it's open here already and uh, we'll talk about this in a second. But yeah, I found it for him. Had I found this one first, he would have probably gotten this one. But I ended up finding this and I do collect Nendoroids for their accessories. So normally when looking at Nendoroids, I talk about the, the, the tape. And the tape on this version is square. And it is an official version. In Japan, you really will not find bootleg Nendoroids. Almost impossible. It has the Kadagawa sticker here. Oh, Kadagawa, sorry, sticker here. I don't know if it has a Show Pro sticker on here. I don't see one. But anyway, I, I this is legit. I guarantee it. And we'll see the quality in a second. But yeah, from what I know, the ones that don't have the round tape are this series and there's another series from around the same era. That I think they're made by a different company. That's why I'm not 100% sure. Then it does license out the the Nendoroids so let's see it's already creased the, uh, let's open this up so like I said it's been open before the thing is in Japan a lot of the, the Nendoroids you get are still brand new even if the box has been opened I'm going to probably see that right now I'll keep the box to the side to see what face plates we got it seems that you get different ones per. Let's bring this closer. Let's uh, let me move my glasses so I can see that it's in focus properly. So, yeah, sometimes they open up the packaging. I had this multiple times with, with Nendoroids. They open up the packaging and it's they've never taken it out of the box at all like 100% this I believe has I can see that yeah that's really easy to pull apart there is tape here though so yeah the tape has been taken off once before I'm gonna try and stand this up because the chair was out of place and the skirt fell and the faces came out let's just take it all out but it seems like yeah, this Nendoroid's brand new. It's, you can see, if they'd taken this out, they would have taken this off. They probably did pick it up like this and then put it back in. For an old Nendoroid, she's not sticky, which is another thing you have to worry about, about Nendoroids. Um, yeah, she was played with, no, maybe not her skirt. Is it sideways? Her neck is loose, very loose. It's about to break, watch. Look at this, old Nendoroids. 
the, the, the pegs on the neck, the uh, very delicate. And from what I know, this series has even the, the neck joints are really bad. But we have two others from the other faceplates anyway. We can we can change them over with. Let's have a look at this guy. So there is paper at the back, but yeah, he's a little sticky. He's actually his head is very sticky. So what it is is when they're molding the nendoroids, the plasticizer they use to to make the the plastic more malleable, more uh, easy to inject. They they add a, a plasticizer to that. So and he is really sticky. I'll tell you how to get the stickiness off in a minute. Let's go through the rest of this box. So we've got two skirts, still sealed. Nice. We got the chair, which is not sticky. My fingers are. <laughs> it's not sticky. Uh, and then at the back. Oh, still. Yeah, these were never taken out. This is still new. Extra parts. So let me get rid of the, the box. I still have my other thing on foot. This has never been taken out. This is all the extra parts. Two leg pieces for sitting down. I do not know what this is. Uh, two hand pieces and are these ribbons for the hair maybe? Maybe ribbon, two extra ribbons for the hair. We'll figure that out. We've got the base. It's a round base, old Android. It is starting to go a bit yellow. I can see with my eyes. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera. The base for the little guy, still sealed. The tape has never been used. Uh, the extra base parts for this base. I will fix, figure that out in a minute. That's everything. So, oh, I am, I'm not upset. I've heard stories about the, the neck pieces. It's just popped that off. <laughs> Uh, I've heard stories about the neck pieces. We can change her face in a bit. Uh, a little disappointed. I think I s was there another YouTube video of someone taking apart one of these Nendoroids and oops, her hair is coming apart though. Another YouTube video and I think the neck piece broke right away as well so it's very common with these Nendoroids with this series Nendoroid anyway the lucky star so I even though I've not watched the series uh, I bought this for the parts the accessories the the body which we'll sort out in a minute so and these pre 300 numbered Nendoroids the hair pieces and face pieces, they don't tend to fit with other Nendoroids at all. So, maybe from the series. This is really tight. I am pulling hard. Whoa, that is tight. I, let me take out this hair. Oh, that, that is stiff. This one will come out easy. Not about, come on. Nope. I think it broke. It snapped. Oh, man. That's not it. Not even a joke. It broke right here. It is. I can glue this, but yeah, that peg. That is. Let's see if I can pull it out without breaking. Nope. It came off. I am gonna have to glue that or find a replacement. Now I only play, paid four dollars for this. That is stuck in there. Oh man. There we go. The face is now out. We can see the back of this. That is tight. This is this review is not going well. Look at that. That is. Yeah, if I try and pull it out, that's just broken. That kind of sucks. But it goes to show you the quality of the older Nendoroids. They're just not the same. I could find another purple peg. I guess I could look for one. I could use another piece. I can glue this. I have. Um, plastic weld it's a Tamiya plastic weld it might work I think I'll try that first and I should be able to get it good enough if I can get this out I don't want to break it anymore though it's really stuck in that <laughs> that sucks ah oh, man yeah so these these pieces come off and then Ah, oh. <laughs> it's so such a letdown. 
these pieces then go in. It's got A and B written on it. Let me get these out. Oh, it says B. I think they're the same. They're exactly the same. Let me focus on this better. Alright, these two are exactly the same piece. So then these go on here. And then that will go in the heart. Do it's tight. Do not break. Please don't break the other side. <laughs> it's very tight. Oh man, do not break, please. Slowly go in. There we go. Okay, so that's on. And then that will go on here. So without the rabbit earpiece. Let's check one of the other faces. This is just not going well. <laughs> so let's look at the other face. And we will put the, the hair back on so you can see it with the hair. Oh man. I will take the neck piece out of this and probably put it into this one so she, her eyes are open. But yeah. Oh man, that. <laughs> it's just. It's so sad. There we go. And then we got one more face piece. A oh, nice face piece. This is. I'm pretty sure it's pretty much brand new. It was probably handled very little. Maybe the guy who owned it, because this is tight. This is very tight. And there was nothing written on the box from the store that I got it from saying that there was a problem with it. And they, they, they tend to check the stuff properly. This does have a bit of discoloration on the top, though. Right here. You might be able to see that on camera. The last video just cut out. So I took this opportunity to fix this. To fix the broken joint. <laughs> I thought it was best to do that. And I haven't tested this on the herpes yet to see if it'll work. We'll do that in a second. But I didn't just super glue this or anything like that. I used Tamiya cement. And this basically it's used for plastic model kits. It says here suitable for plastic hobby kits. And it's made in Japan. It is poisonous. <laughs> and you do not want to set it on fire. But it's basically plastic weld. And what that does is instead of gluing two pieces of plastic together, it melts where it touches and then it fuses them together. So we're going to put this on. And we're going to see if it worked. First off. Okay, it, it didn't. It's just too tight. It just snapped there again. Although it is kind of holding a little. I guess if I try it one more time, maybe it'll work. The other piece... Yeah, it's just... It was a bit too tight. I could file the inside and do it again to make it a bit looser. But overall, it, it's kind of solid. It would work, I think. I think that's part of why it cracked. The, the, the joint on the inside has expanded. Making it tight. <laughs> Uh, well, let, let me see. Let me zoom in so you can see the crack again. But the other side, the other part of the joint, which is it cracked down here somewhere, is perfectly fine. I think I could get that to work, honestly. If I take that off, I could get that to work, I believe. And I will try it again, but I won't be able to do it for this video. Because it's been, what, a couple of days since I... I, I glued it I think it just needed maybe me holding it together longer but yeah it's just I think I need to file it down a little but that can that kind of works if I'm very careful it could work uh, let's get back to the video <laughs> let me put this bow on ah, let me zoom back out so we can see properly let me put the bow on I'm going to be as gentle as possible because I don't want to break it any more than it, it is. The ball goes on quite easily. So, yeah, if I file that down, it's not going to be a problem, I think. I think I will be putting the ear, the bunny ears back on. Uh, it broke. <laughs> it broke. I will be trying it. I will try again. But I wanted to show you that on video so you could see the solution I tried and if it did actually work and whatnot. Ah, I thought it was going to work, but it's not a, 
it's not too much of a problem. Well, it is and it isn't. Uh, the old joints do crack, and um, to replace this, I will uh, I will need one of two things: the same joint again, the exact same joint from another figure, or another joint from another purple figure that's maybe newer, so it's not as brittle. The problem with that is, oops, that's okay. The problem with that is getting a joint that's this long. Oh no, the whole thing's just broken now. It's just completely snapped. Look. Ah. Oh no, it hasn't snapped. It just fell through the hair. Okay. That's, that's, okay. I'm going to just, I'll get that off later on. We will just do this with a half head of hair. The hole is okay. The hair is fine. It's not so bad. We'll get back to review in the face. <laughs> so, yeah. Man. It's so disappointing. It's so soul crushing to be honest with you. Because like I said, the neck pieces you can replace. There's just no problem. There's so many neck pieces, but the hair, it's going to be quite hard to find uh, a piece that's similar. Anyway, her face is very cute. Um, she has white hair. I'm not sure if that is chipped from something or if it's part of the face. Oh no, it's part of the face. It's the same on both sides. Okay. So, two little white dots, open mouth, it's a very cute face. I don't think these faces will work with a modern Nendoroids, which is a shame. I am going to put back on her original face, because I think that's the face I'm going to display her with. Do not break the hair. <laughs> the body just falls off. So that neck joint is loose, it's come loose over time, but the hair is really stiff, which is good. That is a good thing. Taking Nendoroids apart without breaking parts is it's really hard oh I can't put the neck piece on because yeah I need to get that out that's cracked in the same place as well actually let's put this piece back on I kinda like this one as well ah, so much <laughs> so much to do uh, off camera let's put that the hopefully that doesn't break I'm worried about let me move the bunny parts out as well so we got her in a school uniform the school uniform is nice. It's very cute. I like the red. This neck joint is fine. It's a bit stiffer than the others, although it is a bit... When you turn it this way, it's a bit wobbly. Um, on the arms, you can replace... Oops, there you go. You can replace the hands. The arms do move like normal nendoroids. Um, the waist comes off because we got extra... We have extra what's it called extra skirts so let's take that off so you can see so <laughs> the body comes apart like this you could put it back on if you want to run around without a skirt on and we got two extra skirt pieces so the two extra skirt pieces have been uh, tightly taped one is for the sitting position oh yeah this is this is tight still new which is good this whole figure is still new. It's just been, it's just a disaster. <laughs> so you can see here that it's designed so the legs go. In, sorry, it's designed so the legs go in on a different angle. They go in more, or so that they can bend up more. Uh, and to get them out, let's let's remove it. Nope, it broke. I'm done. I'm done with this video. It's just... Okay, I'm back. One last time. I've gotten leg joints from other Nendoroids. Old Nendoroids because they just crumbled. These ones just crumbled. Old brittle joints just... Uh, old brittle joints. It's just how it is. It's just soul crushing. <laughs> Especially if you're trying to do it on a video to get it to work. So, I can't remember where I got these Nendoroids from. But yeah, the, the parts. So the old joints for the legs, they have really short stems, so you can't use the new neck pieces, which is what I, I had. Go in. It is a bit tight. They do go in. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave it as it is. So they're, they're from two different Nendoroids. You can see by the, the sm good smile faces. They're from two different Nendoroids. So... We were not going to use this one anymore. We were going to use the skirt with the legs. Let's find that. Ugh. 
Honestly, <laughs> it's like I want to carry on and I don't want to carry on making this video. So, it's, uh, that is tight. It is a virgin joint note. Uh, let's see, does that one even go in? This is the thing, these companies, these manufacturers, they're, they're manufactured by different people. And then they're licensed by Good Smell. I need to adjust the leg around. Oh, it's tight. Uh, oh, this is one way to do it. You bend it down. Let me focus. You bend it down, and then you can turn it around if you don't have sweaty fingers to get it into the position you want. As long as it's not brittle, you can get it to the position you want, and then you just straighten it up. And it will be the same with this when I, I want to try and turn it. I hope I don't break these joints because these are from different Nendoroids. Um, I need to get this out. Wait one second. So let's bend it down. Oh yeah, one thing I did notice. These parts have gone brown. Yellow, orangey, brown type. I don't know why that is. I think it could be, could be the plasticizer. I am unsure. Oh my. My. It's really hot in my room. It's making it really hard to do this. The soul crushing Nendoroid, that's what this is. So hopefully that goes in. I don't need it all the way in, I just need it enough to do the review. Just don't break. <laughs> so I think there we go. We can put the body on. Hang on, that's fine. Let's forget the body on. And then so you can see the leg joints, they they come up so she can sit. Sit down. There, go in. Oh, I'm trying not too hard to put too much pressure. Because I do not want to break these. But her body, she can sit down. Duh. Like a soul. So if we put on her neck, her head, her neck joint in. And then have her. She wouldn't be so floppy if her hair stayed on. So she would be more able to sit. And we have one last skirt, which I think we need the other Thunderwear for. So let's do that quickly. I will get through this review, and then I can just go and cry. <laughs> it's just joints. Honestly, if it was, the rest of the parts, the rest of the Nendoroid parts are perfectly fine. It's just, I don't know what they use for the joints. It's a different type of material. And they just become super brittle over time. I've had it happen on other Nendoroids. It's it's not that big of a deal. Hang on, how does... Oh yeah, this goes like the old one. It says A, B. And this one says... A... Oh, this one has a hole in her skirt. So that she can stand up. So, I wonder what, what this piece is for then. And which is the front? Is it the longer part or the shorter part? I think the the longer part, this is the front. Oh no, the A B is that goes at the back. So it's so yeah, okay. So A B is the back. Hopefully you can see that. <laughs> let's, let's get this on. Oh man, this is difficult, honestly. So these are older Nendoroids. They are cool. But oh, are they these joints are frustrating. <laughs> So hang on, we need to find the the the, the back side. We should not it goes a lot easier into this, by the way, these two. I think this is actually meant to go the other side. This leg is quite dirty. I wonder if that's just my fingers or if it's from what it was before. See, they go in really easily on this. Uh so that's not so bad. And then it should go in properly. I don't want to break anything. Don't break anything. I want them to go back on my norm, non endoids properly. <sighs> anyway, let's see. So she should. It's another standing skirt, which is quite strange. I have the box. <clears throat> I have the box. Uh, let me just let me just have a quick look at the box. Okay, I understand now. So this is the regular skirt. 
This is the regular skirt. This other skirt with the hole in is for the bunny tail, which comes in the extra pieces. Let me get that out so you can see that. Okay, so yeah, this goes on here. Bunny tail, that's why there's a hole, it's not for the stand. Bunny tail, we'll put that on in a minute so you can see. I need to get, so this is just the regular skirt and it just does, it's very tight. I give it that. It doesn't want to go in and like I said, I don't want to break the pants. I think that's the, the, the don't want to break it. So there we go, that's better. So it's just for standing. This is just regular, <laughs> regular let's fall off. I guess if I took the legs out and pushed it in, it would work better. But I'm going to put the bunny tail back on anyway, and you can kind of see how it looks. Let me make sure it's in focus. So you can kind of see how it looks anyway. That's cool. Um, I forgot to do the other legs. We have extra legs. I completely forgot about the accessories. The head comes off really easy. So... That's the regular tail, uh, regular tail, regular skirt. We got the bunny skirt, we'll do that last. Let's go back, we have these other legs. We've got a couple of hands, we'll do the hands last. Uh, this is all still new, so these are meant to be for sitting down. So when you, when, when you saw me have it sitting down earlier on, with these legs, so that comes out quite easy. So this will stick with the bunny part in a minute. Let me go back to the, this skirt and we will get my joints out and I'll be back in a second for that. So I got the joints out. Let's pop them into these legs. These legs are a little shiny. It's a bit weird. So this could be the material. Let's pop them in. These legs are weird. This, this joint does not want to go in at all. Oh no. There we go, it's in. I'm not going to stick it in all the way super tight. But I feel like the quality on this Nendoroid is strange. Because these legs are shiny, but then none of the other parts are shiny. And they've just painted this the sock on. It's really strange. The sock is just painted on. Oh, well, obviously it's just painted on. It would be like that all the time for most Nendoroids. But it just looks like it's painted on, if you know what I mean. Instead of it just being... Sometimes they would, the mold would have a, a line or something, and then you just paint to that. Oh my, this does, it's very tight. It is a brand new hole. <laughs> it's never been used before. Oh, just give me a second. Okay, I have the joints in now, so I hope they're easier to get out. This, this is insane. But, that's understandable. New Nendoroids, when the, the, the holes have never been used before, they tend to be very tight, so... I just don't want to break anything. The, like I said, the, the joints get brittle. All well, these joints don't feel brittle. There's nothing stopping it from breaking. So with this skirt, it goes on a lot easier because it's just the way it's been designed. Which I do like on, compared to that other part of the other skirt. So this should sit on the, the chair better now. That's that's better for you guys, right? Although it's a bit top heavy. Uh, I guess with the joints I could I can push the, the, the joints forward. And there we go. She's still a bit top heavy and obviously side heavy because of that. But she sits a lot better. Uh, let's zoom in for that. So you can see she can sit she sits better on that. that's nice. But <laughs> yeah, I need the other piece of her. Ah, it's so sad. Let's put everything on her so she's back to bunny girl as best as I can. Please don't break her. It comes out quite easily when the joint works. And then I'm gonna straighten it and then I'm just gonna twist this off slowly. That joint didn't crack. Thank you. That's good. So this hair is for this side, so it needs to be this bunny ear, I believe, yep. And I will unzoom a little. 
So, this is stressful, honestly. The ear goes on quite easily. It's, and it's the wrong way. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that's quite funny. It goes on quite easily, honestly, That that's good. But then it has been in this since it was put in the... Uh, there we go. That's nice and easy. The neck comes off, obviously, but that's that's not it's not so bad. So that that goes on easy. That's good. Let's get these uh, legs off of here. Getting them out of the back out of those legs shouldn't be a problem. But yeah, these leg pieces, even these leg pieces. This is not as shiny as these other ones, but hopefully you can see. Let me focus that. Sorry, I'm not looking into the camera when I'm doing this. Yeah, these are very shiny. These ones aren't. But it's just been painted on, and it's just it's a shame the paint doesn't look too great. It is at all an end of it. So to get these out, I'm just gonna slowly twist them off, easy peasy. And I'm gonna do the same way. one. just twist. And as it twists, they pull apart quite easily. Not a problem there. Right. So how do I want this? I want to put the bunny bunny tail one on. So I should let's put the skirt on first. Let's put the, the bottom part in because it doesn't seem to want to go in properly. There we go. Hey, I hope that's on properly. Then we're gonna go with the legs. So Yeah, these these parts I, I took from other Nendoroids, like I said, but they're from leg parts for old Nendoroids. So that's why I think it works quite easily let's so they really go into that joint really nicely then not into that joint into that 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 pair of underwear <laughs> that's what it is ah, I think this could come off the, the this coloration I don't know why it's this colored uh, but yeah the store I got this from in Japan is a reputable store hobby off if you've never heard of hobby off they do not accept bootlegs so there's no way that this is a bootleg. My, this leg is a bit dirty, and I'm wondering what that is, why that is. Because I'm, most of the parts are brand new. I, like I said, I took it out of the box. There's, there is a, a big chance that it was just taken out of the box and then put back in. But then this bit of leg is looking like it wasn't. I'm just trying to get the legs looking nice-ish. <laughs> Let's straighten up the body. So she has a bunny tail on with bunny ears, and that is very cute. Uh, yeah, that's very cute. Especially if I can get it in focus. And the lights on this. I think it's this light. Let me move that one. There we go. That might be better. It's very cute. This is a very cute Nendoroid. Do not doubt that for one bit. It is a very cute Nendoroid. Once the joints have been replaced, it's, it's going to be a perfectly fine Android. Let's put her on her base. So it's the old style base. Now it has two different pegs. So I am unsure how this works. And she has two different clips. But there's only one peg hole. So you got the one for the skirt. I, I know why it's like that. It's for when she's sitting down. I think this clips around her waist when she's sitting down yeah it goes there like this when she's sitting down and then the other one which we're going to use is for when she's standing and I believe it's probably this one's probably used for when she's sitting down on the bench maybe or maybe it goes through that part does it go through there no it doesn't it doesn't really fit through the chair so it's probably not that but does this fit on here? It does fit on that. Maybe it goes in this way. Maybe. Maybe it's more like that. I am not sure. But this straight one is shorter. I, I, I believe it's for this. It's like this with other Nendoroid parts that I have had. That goes in all the way. And then what you're going to do is you're going to line up the body. And then she's just going to stand like that. I actually do prefer these bases, 100% prefer them because you don't have dodgy holes in the back of your Nendoroid. They just sit there 
It's really nice. Look at it. She's just standing there. It's really nice. Um, and then we got the little guy. I do not know his name. I do apologize. He is sticky. And I'll tell you how to get rid of the stickiness right now. The way I do it is I get wet wipes, baby wipes. Preferably non-alcoholic. Alcohol will remove the paint. On this guy, it wouldn't be so bad because he's just white. And then the road petite. So you just wipe him down. You do that a few times until all of the stickiness is gone. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to leave them out on your display like a so for a few days and then the stickiness will be gone pretty much gone if you were to take the stickiness off and then put it back in in the box the stickiness is just going to return honestly that's that's what's going to happen what yeah so he is an endo petite you can take the front of his hair off i'm not going to do it and you can change his face plates i'm not sure if that can be done with other nendoroid petites i mean swapping the faces in and out. I'm not sure if you can swap the faces. I'm sure you could use this hair with other ninja. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe not. I want to take it off, but he's so sticky. Oh, it comes off easy. <laughs> it comes off quite easy. So, yeah. Okay. Let's just take his head off. His hair off. Let's see. So, it's like that. It looks like that. It's not so bad. And then, if another ninja petite you could you um, you might be able to swap the hair i don't have many nendoroid petite i only have like a couple ones that have come with other full-size nendoroids and i think i have one other one but his arms move up and down quite nice he the joints they are a bit loose but it's not so bad and i think his legs come out as well i've just stuck him on his base his legs might come out as well i don't want to delve too much into this because if if he has joints like hers, then they're just going to break and I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> but, ah, uh, it is so sad. I could get an old joint for this hair and spray paint it. It's a shame that all of the joints just broke. Honestly, and none of them, all of them, even these ones from, from the legs. They just broke off. I could have... The only part of the joint that survives is this part. The bit with the, the stick on it. With the smiley face in this case. And that is not useful <laughs> in repairing this. Because this is the same colour as this. And I could have just resprayed another part of the joint. If it had been like the middle part that broke. But that's the survivor. Ah, it's just a shame. Overall, this is a very nice Nendoroid. Oh, there it came off, so I should be able to... Re I'm going to try and replace it. Oh, we've got one more thing to look at as well. Overall, it is a nice Nendoroid. We've got the extra hands. So she has two extra hands. Okay, i got the hands out. It's such a shame, this Nendoroid. It's a really, really nice Nendoroid. So her hands, her hands are... Oh, let me zoom out. Her hands are like... Like this, but bent backwards a bit. I will put them in. This should be no problem with the hands being... Yeah, this should be no problem. The wrists are a little thin compared to other Nendoroids. I'm not going to push it all the way in. Because, yeah, I do not want to break these. Just twist, 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 twist and pull as I'm twisting. And that's how I get these out. And then I'm just going to move the hair. Put the hand in in and then it goes like that yeah okay i don't want to push it in too much and we can look at her we can have a she's actually coming out for a hug that is really nice uh zoom back in let's uh, focus that that's really nice i like the chair <laughs> the chair is fine the chair it's a basic chair <sighs> i apologize for this i feel like i really want to love this figure but due to all of the problems with the joints, it's just so... Uh, <laughs> I apologize for that. Because it's such a cute nendoroid. It really is a cute nendoroid. Uh, tight joints for the base. Uh, yeah, it's that, that's normal. It really is normal. And if you don't have brittle joints, you can put a bit of extra effort to, to force it in. You don't have to worry about it. 
The hands are really cute, these hands. It's a shame she doesn't come with more hands, but maybe in the other ones, because there are, what, another two Nendoroid of her that have extra joints and whatnot. Um, but just to go to show you how brittle these are, I was going, I was trying to adjust this early on, you know, to turn it around, to pull it out, and it just, it cracked the... Good Smile needs to release old Nendoroid joints again, as in like just sell a bag of joints. That's all they have to do and you could replace them all, it would be no problem <laughs> at all. You could have nice Nendoroids, you really could have nice, nice Nendoroids again. I hope they do that because the old joints, they're just, the parts are so short compared to the new ones which are like double the length, really. Anyway guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video, uh, I, I really do, if you did, please leave like, like, if you want to watch some more, subscribe, I will see you guys next time, thank you for watching, bye bye.